Here we go again, that time of year, tax season. The IRS begins accepting returns Monday. It is the first time everyone will be filing under the new tax code. Joining us now with what you need to know to get ready is senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson. It's great to talk to you. What are the biggest changes we're going to encounter this year? Well, 2018 is the tax year where we saw the big changes with all of those tax cuts that happened. And so what we're going to see is a difference in terms of the standard deduction. That's nearly doubled to 24000 for married couples, 12000 if you're single. You're also seeing some of the itemized deductions going away or being limited. We have a cap now on state and local tax deductions of $10,000. And then we're also seeing a higher child tax credit of $2,000 as opposed to $1,000. So there are a lot of changes, but those miscellaneous itemized deductions that you used to like, like writing off your tax prep fees, right. can't do that anymore. Okay, now let's talk about the paperwork. Does the forms we need to file, has any of that changed? Well, the forms are not different, but the timing of it you have to just double check and make sure that you're getting it when you need it and that you know what forms you need to have. You have to have your W-2 uh -huh. for your wage information. If you're self-employed or you're an independent contractor, look for those 1099 forms. Those should come this month. If you have other income, savings that you have and you've gotten interest from that, those interest statements, they should be coming soon this month as well. But you also want to keep in mind that if you're looking for credits or deductions, there's going to be paperwork you want to make sure that you have to make sure you get those deductions. So whether that's property taxes or student loan interest or child care expenses and or your mortgage it interest. if the IRS yes, comes back and asks to be able you about to it. it. Yep. All right, what yep. are the different ways people can file? It seems like every year we have more options. Well, there is the IRS free file if you make $66,000 a year or less. Bottom line, make sure you file electronically. It's the quickest way to do it. Easiest way to make sure you get a refund if you're due one. So you want to make sure that you definitely do electronic filing. You can use tax prep software to do that. And the IRS website, irs.gov, will tell you some of the ones that they believe are the legitimate ones to use in terms oh, of tax great. prep software. And then go onto the website also if you want to find a tax professional who does file electronically for you right in your area. You just put in your zip code and they'll tell you who's in your area. Since before Christmas, we've been hearing all this talk about the government shutdown. What impact will that have on filing taxes? Well, in terms of filing, it doesn't change the date. January 28th is the date that you can start filing and it doesn't change the date that they're due. You have to have your tax returns in by April 15th. They say it will not change in terms of your refunds and getting your refunds in a timely manner. But you never know. If people don't show up to work, there is a limited workforce that will be in place there. They're saying there's no delay, but that's not a guarantee. So, I mean, again, this is not money. You shouldn't be expecting a big return, a big tax refund anyway, because that means you weren't necessarily managing what you were supposed to be doing. But if you are, don't count on it right away. Okay. All right. Great advice, Sharon. Sure. Thank you.